Today's video is made possible through the support of Jack Singer. Thank you, sir, for helping out. Hi there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. I got a quick one for you because a friend of mine, we won't mention names, mentioned that she didn't know how to use a basic road flare. And it occurred to me that this isn't a thing that not a lot of people know how to do these days. Like, how... My viewers are nerds, so like all of you who are kind of like, I've been using road flare. Yeah, I know, you're a nerd. Just, you're one of my people. But there's a lot of normal people who have things like social lives that don't know how to use a road flare. So this is pretty much an ISO standard generic flare. They come in different types. But if your flare looks like this, here's how you use one, okay? So this, this has the pull cord, and you could just pull the top off like that, but I, don't, I think to light this, you gotta pull that off, and that cuts the thing. And then we've got a top. Okay, so you pull the whole top right off. And in here, this is basically a match, a really big match. And like a match, it also works with a bit of phosphorus and some sulfur, and once you light this, it does not go out. That's a really important thing to know. Once you light this, it's on, and it is good. Yes, this is acceptable. But I came here because it was fucking dark. Because I have a flare. <laughs> okay. So once you light this, it's on and it's going to stay on. They have a time indicator on the side of them. This is probably a 10 or 15 minute. This is a 10 minute, so it's a little short one. These come in everything from like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. I've never seen one bigger than 30 minutes. But you light it like a match. The little black button on top is your, your, your igniter part, and this is your striker part. So. Hold it like that, press the two ends together, and just, and you have a flare. Ta-da! World's worst firework. Which way is the wind gonna blow? Okay. So, that's a flare. They're really bright. And you set it on the ground and leave it alone. Usually you don't have to hold one unless you're like an action movie hero at the end of the rock. Okay, but things to note about road flares. One, they're really, 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 really hot. This is, this is way hotter than just like your lighter. Okay, these are super duper hot. Um, don't look right at them. Don't mess with your eyes. And they drip. That is dripping really hot, probably molten sulfur. Okay, so that's, that's legit brimstone coming off there. So when using a flare, you wanna use it on a non-combustible surface. This is not a thing for inside the house. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to flares. Once you light them, they go until they don't go anymore. And you're not gonna put it out. Like, you're just not. Um, some types of flares will even work underwater. Though I don't think generic, super common road flares do. But you, you can absolutely get flares that will work underwater. This one might, I don't know. Um, they have a shelf life. They, they are not good forever. If you buy flares, you'll see that it has a, a use by date on it. Old flares are fun to play with and good for lighting fireworks. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know about flares. It's not hard, it's really simple. The tops vary, but they all usually work on some manner of take this off and strike it against this. Once in a while you'll find one with a pull cord start, like where you just pop and it just goes. Um, those are really expensive though, so you don't see a lot of them. But I've only ever seen them like once or twice. But most of them, you just take the cap off and on top of the cap or under the cap will be a sandpapery surface and you take that off and, just, and you get a flare. And that's your basics of flares. Ta-da!
it's just gonna do its thing. When they get near the end, they sputter a bit. So you guys have fun. Thank you for hanging out. There's your quick lesson on flares. And now, that sexy high-speed camera footage again. Thank you guys.